I have no more! Hey! Your brother's house is beautiful! It's another year. And it ought to be another reunion. It's so good that you could make it. Is Tracy coming? Um, excuse me, guys. I have to take this. It's strange. Is someone in the study? Huh? Hello. And what is that supposed to mean? The house. What are you doing here? Isn't that a stupid question to ask? He's going to marry your sister. Mike. You and I know that this is not possible. So, right? So, if I start talking, leave. What do you mean by do, do, do? What is that? This is the part where I slap you. Go ahead. I deserve it. Stop, stop, stop. We can't do this. Why not? Okay, yeah, there's that, but I mean, it's, it's not too late to end things, babe. Jimmy, why did you kiss me? Because... I still have to decide if I want to go through with things. And? And I regret not kissing you sooner. I regret being so afraid of risking our 12-year relationship. I regret attempting to love someone else. I regret sitting on the sidelines quietly watching weak men fail to give you the love you deserve. Most of all, I regret me and Amma. I've never meant for things to get this far. That word again. What word? Things. Melissa. Jimmy, the things you keep referring to is a wedding and a relationship with my sister. Tell me not to do it. Do what? Tell me you and I are real. Tell me you feel the same, babe. Then what? Then I go out there and tell Amma and everyone else that you're the one I love. That the wedding is off. You wouldn't. Dear me. Tell me you love me. You're confused. I didn't you tell us? No. Your bride to be sent me to fetch you. Dinner is served, everyone is here, so. So let me get things straight. You intentionally drove your car into a tree, broke your arm, and almost suffered a concussion because you didn't want to attend the wedding. Not just any wedding. It's the wedding of the man I love, and he's about... <laughs> you rich girls kill me. I'm not rich. But you wrecked a perfectly good car. Yeah, sure, you're right. You're not rich. You're crazy. You don't understand. I'm expected to be at this wedding. Literally every single person I know is going to be in attendance. I needed the perfect excuse not to be there. So, 
the solution was to kill yourself. I'm not trying to kill myself. I'm trying to avoid looking like the bitter single woman. So a false image is of more importance to you than expressing how you truly feel? Like I said, you don't understand. Okay, let's see. The man you claim to love is about to make what you claim is the biggest mistake of his life. And you're willing to let him because you want to save face and stay miserable. So you do understand? Sure, I understand. Cowardly behavior is easy to understand. I am not a coward. I see. Please, tilt your head this way for me, please. Hmm. I'm really not a coward, you know. Am I? Oh my gosh, I'm totally being a coward. But that's not me, I'm not a coward. I am strong, I'm confident. I'm in love. I'm in love. Ow. What do you think you're doing? I still have time to make things right. The final wedding rehearsal is in a few months. I can't stop things before they go any further. I'm not done with treating your bruises. <sighs> Doctor, you've done more than enough. <laughs> you've saved me from a lifetime of loneliness. You should totally consider becoming a life coach. Wait! Oh. Poor girl. She'll be back with more bruises. The bride and the bridegroom have vows we have to declare now. Thank you, Pastor. Amma, from the moment I laid my eyes on you, blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> Come here. Uh. Hello, guys. You know, we have to hasten up. We have just 10 more minutes to go. Yeah, almost done. Okay, um, <laughs> let us go on a break now. We've been at this all morning. And That's please, right. has anyone been able to reach mom? Has she been able to reach Melissa? She's supposed to be my bridesmaid. Why isn't she here now? Don't worry. I'll call your mom, okay? Melissa? Where the hell have you been? I have been trying to reach you all morning. What happened to you? Mel, what are you doing? I'm so sorry. Jimmy. I love you. Jesus! I'm so sorry it took me so long to figure it out, but it's real. You and I are real. Hang on, Emma. Let him sort it out. What's, no. what's, what's is this? Relax. Mel, what's is this? Relax, Emma. Mel, come Jimmy. here. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let him solve it. I'm not, I'm not. Come, come, come. Leave me, Daddy. Come. Melissa, I can't. What? Look, you were right. I, w I was confused. It must have been pre-wedding jitters or something. I love you. I love your sister. And listen, look, I love you. I love you too. But. As a friend. I'm sorry. So? So? What did you think about the script? It was, uh, good. Good. As in, can't wait to make it good, or good as in... Good as in nicely worded, beautifully crafted, but horribly disturbing. <laughs> All right. OK. Uh, please, that last bit. Was it a compliment? It most certainly was not. Melissa. Uh, as for the script is exceptional as usual, but the story is just way too dark. I did This wasn't even half as dark as the last one. Granted, there are no mass murders or severed body parts in this script, but when I said 
family-friendly entertainment. I didn't mean a script that had anything to do with child abuse. It's a dark, unfriendly world out there. So why make it even darker? You have to go back to the drawing board. Does that mean I won't get the other half of my payments? You, my darling, will get paid when the job is done. And since you keep missing the mark, let me clarify a few things here. Your job is to write me a movie that I can sell. A movie that will turn profit. A movie that is relatable to the joyful masses, not the sad and depressed. <laughs> Do you follow the news? The masses are sad and depressed. But carry on. Give me something with the universal theme, love. Not in your usual dark and cynical way. Give me something with heightened emotions. Something with hope. Something with romance. Melissa Coca, give me something with a happy ending. Happy endings are not real, Adi. If it's real you want, then you're in the wrong business. And make no mistake, this is business. Turn in a draft by next week or we'll have serious problems. Next week, I uh, will give you a happy ending. A story, a story with a happy ending by next week. I mean, what about me? All the writing samples I presented gave her the impression that I'm a romantic. I don't do romance, not in real life and definitely not in fiction. Mm hmm Happy endings and romance aren't real. They're just concepts created by these commercial storytellers to prey on the hope of the weak and lonely women. Sure. Mm. Do you... I know for a fact that these things don't exist. And look at me. I want to use my talent to mislead and manipulate my own gender. For what? Ching, ching, change. Does that answer your question? Babe, what I was asking was whether you were enjoying the food. Oh, yeah. Really? You know, this time I experimented. Of course not, to do. You know you can't cook. You don't have to be rude about it. I, I want to write about real stuff, you know? Crime, grief, the law. But you're still eating the food now. If you're not enjoying it, why are you eating it? Because I am broke. Broke people don't eat for pleasure. You eat for fuel. Enjoy. I can't believe I used to think this movie was everything. Thank God I'm not young and gullible anymore. Oh, come on, Uju. What? Are you serious? After all they went through, fate still brought them back together. Love, huh? Love conquers everything. Fate? Yes, no. Love. The guy stole from her. No, she stole from him. She said on her. He was tricked. Almost got her killed. But in the end, he saved her life. Regardless. After all that crap, the mumu still went back to him. That is not love, my friend. That is <sighs> mental slavery. Stockholm Syndrome, I believe it's called. What the hell is wrong with you? Mel, three things. First of all, how dare you? Don't you ever refer to any character played by the beautiful, the amazing, the, the talented, the immaculate Genevieve Inaji as Mumu. Are you mad? Uh, what if that's how the character is really? Don't test me. Okay. Secondly, it could easily be argued that all the stuff going on with Ramsey's character is purely circumstantial now. Probably. But I'm... <sighs> But I don't want to argue anymore. See your face. <laughs> <clears throat> what was the third thing?
I'm engaged. What? Faraji proposed. When? Two weeks ago. Two weeks? Would you why? I was looking for the right time to tell you. The right time? Yeah. Is it so difficult to tell your best friend that you're engaged? Yes, actually it is. Why? This! No, I didn't want to deal with all this drama, like this reaction. You haven't said one good word, not even one good word, about me and Faraji since we started dating. Udru, she met this guy like five minutes ago. He's based out of the country. Your entire relationship exists on Skype and WhatsApp. You're not Con ready. Congratulations. Udru, congratulations. It's one word, babe. Five syllabus, 50 letters. It's not a freaking tongue twister. Listen, congratulations. That is all you had to say. Hi. My name is Mike. I'm here to serve your table. How may I invite you today? Hi, my name is not Mike, and I would appreciate if you please schedule while we make up our minds. So, I should go? Oh no, please draw up a chair and sit next to us. <laughs> Thank you, madam. But I'm afraid I can't do that. It's against the restaurant's policy. I might get fired if my... Oh, uh, oh no, please sit with us. Come on, just take a seat. Uh, Mike, don't worry, we'll call you when we're ready. Wait, why do you have to be so rude? Really? Okay, what do you want to eat? I don't know. I'll have whatever you're having. <clears throat> okay. I think I'll go with the... Ah! Okay, I'll do the coconut rice. Yes, yes, we'll uh, do coconut rice. Anything but cocoyam rice, please. Coconut rice. Coconut, cocoyam, every it's the same thing. Look, baby, I'm not going to spend the next hour arguing with you about this. Good idea. Do you even know why it's called coconut rice? Oh, indulge me. It's called coconut rice because the rice is soaked in coconut milk, hence the name coconut rice. Cooking normal rice, you soak it in water, but nobody ever calls it water rice. Plantain is sliced and soaked in hot oil, and nobody ever says hot oil plantain. Can you see the way you're even confusing yourself? Like, you know what you're saying makes no sense whatsoever. Why is it called coconut, coconut, uh, coconut rice when, it, when it's the same procedure with every other thing? Hello. <sighs> Are you ready to make your order now? We will call you. Oh, you know, I told my colleague about what transpired between us the other time. Mm -hmm. And he told me you were being sarcastic and told me what sarcasm means. Oh, fantastic. But you've been here for over an hour and you haven't made your order. What are you waiting for? You. I'm waiting for you. Oh, you can't possibly be waiting for me. I've been... Oh. Sarcasm again. Ah, ding, ding, ding. Congratulations. Okay, baby, please make up your mind. What do you want to eat? <coughs> okay. Any mini... Wait, are you five yeah, years old? Yeah, yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, grab a tiger by his toe, give it all us, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Coconut rice. I um, would like coconut rice, please, with chicken. Ha! <laughs> Boom! How can I help you? Oh, Mr. Coco. Yes, it's Uju, her assistant, yeah. No, sir, she's not available. Yes, sir, she's in court. Uh-huh. I'll do just that, sir. As soon as she gets back, I'll have her call you. 
Uh, no problem, sir. Okay, bye. I'm the assistant when I'm actually the one that practices law. Because you're an amazing friend. And a lifesaver. I'm the both of them. Mel, how long are you going to be putting up this charade? Really? Until my writing career kicks off. It's been a year. Are you going to be living this life forever? So what are you saying? Just tell them. Tell them the truth. What's the worst that can happen? They, they might even be able to help you financially. You know I can't do that. I've, I've disgraced them enough. I can't, I can't pile on by telling them I'm a struggling writer who's run out of savings. I can't even make rent. Can you please stop saying that? You don't have to pay me rent. It's my flat. No. You can live here. No. I am not a freeloader. I have never been and I refuse to ever be. Okay. I'll, I'll find a part-time gig so I